Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Again, we're going to do another video. I know this is shocking. Hopefully, um, I can post this for, when I'm filming this, I just posted my hard candy slash, uh, Girl Scout cookie video, so watch that. I'll link it below. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just done my nails and then now this nail's all chunky and weird, so I'm just gonna, I guess, go with it? I have no idea what I did. I just rushed my nails and totally messed them up, but um, I love using the um, I-N-L, is it I-L-N-P, I always get it backwards, I-L-N-P. So I'll link their website down below, but these are great nail polishes. Um, I had done a video in the past on them, so check that out if you want to. So anyways, this is going to be a Ipsy slash BoxyCharm unboxing video just kind of getting ready um honestly I had stopped using my boxy charm and then I started it up again just because I was like you know what I kind of liked having to not spend as much money outside of this because this is only what mine's 30 bucks a month and then you could do add-ons and stuff for like really cheap so you can get a lot of good stuff on here for like cheap so, we are going to kind of go through what I have, and I might not use all of it, I'm only going to use some of it, but as you can see, my skin is bare right now, so I need some uh, skin care. So we're going to go ahead and go into it. So they don't do their little cards like they used to, I mean this is now owned by Ipsy, they do like this little magazine thing, there's no theme to it really, it's just kind of like what's offered during the month of what you can get and honestly like it's I feel like it's good now because now you can actually pick what you want in the box uh, at least three items you can pick not just get random stuff all the time and honestly I like that I like that a lot so without further ado we're gonna get into it so first things first we're gonna go into to the first item. So this is the uh, Hydrating Toner from First Aid Beauty with Squalene and Oats. Safe for sensitive skin. I usually don't use toner because I'm so bad at it. But I kind of got excited when I found out that I could pick one. Well, did I pick this? No, this one was actually automatically in the box. And I need to find something to open it. Oh, bear with me. I'm not going to edit that out. This is just a daily struggle of mine. And my nails, I just don't want to mess them up even more. I swear, I don't know what I did. I like totally went too... I, I should have just left my nails as it was. But then I tend to like mess... Like when it's... I feel like it's going to peel. I'll, I'll peel it. It's really bad. But anyways, I did... What's this shade? I don't know if you can see it on camera. But this is the shade Deep Space and it's a magnetic nail polish. So you do get you can buy the magnet separately. Alright, so you get a good size toner. This is a six fluid ounce. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on this. Oh, it's like milky. It's milky. I'm putting it on like just a pad that I have. Little I usually use the Shiseido ones, but I'm running out. So this is just kind of like a basic one. And it's very milky. It doesn't leave my skin too tight. It's supposed to have squalling and oats. Maybe it'll help with calming the skin down. Let's see. Dermatologist tested. First Aid Beauty has always been good. I've, I've used it in the past. Um, helps hydrate, smooth, and prep the skin for serums and moisturizer. So yeah, I mean, after cleansing, Skin, apply cotton pad, and swipe over face, pat directly onto skin with fingers. So you can actually pat it onto skin with fingers. Because I usually get dry in this area, so I'm going to put a little bit more. And then just kind of... So you can use your fingers. It has a little tack to it. I like how milky it is, because I don't like toners that have like that watery. I feel like it doesn't do anything for me. Alright, let's see, um, and I totally forgot to bring out my, 
I need a moisturizer and because there's Brittany looks through and could not find me a moisturizer. And a serum. There's no serum in here. Alright, so not bad. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and go into a serum. I'm just gonna use my advanced night repair. This is my mini one that I always have on hand. Absolutely love this stuff. Liquid gold. Huh, perfect. And then I will need, I will need a moisturizer. So I'm going to use my mini Estee Lauder Revitalizing, Revitalizing Supreme Moisturizer from Estee Lauder. Love this stuff. It really does help smooth and plump my skin. All right, so next item on there is, I actually did these two as add-ons, but this is a Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel Cream. So I'm excited. I actually got two eye creams. Um, I got the Peptide 4 Eye Recovery um, Reviving Eye Cream from Elemis, which is what I picked, I think. I always am in the market for some eye stuff. So, because I have one backup of my uh, Revitalizing Supreme Eye Cream and I don't want to use it just yet. So this is, um, I thought this one was a, it's a gel cream, so I might be able to use both. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and dive, it's a small one, it's not a big one. And I think I've used this before, I can't remember. I think I have, but I can't remember. I mean, I haven't reviewed any Ipsy boxy charm things, but it is just a like gel consistency And I'm just gonna put some under the eyes And I do like glow recipe I used I used to use their avocado uh, uh, retinol um, Eye cream, but I can't use retinol around my eyes anymore. So This one might be a nice thing. So with this this uh, visibly brightens dark circles and depuffs tired looking eyes with lightweight hydrating eye gel cream packed with potent yet gentle blend of 10% encapsulated vitamin C, 3% niacinamide blend, firming peptides, green caffeine to hydrate, depuff, and illuminate the eyes for a wide awake look. I mean, it does have a little bit of like a sheen to it, but it's not, it's not bad. I had this before. I know I've had this before. I think I have. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with Glow Recipe. Um, I am going to put the Elemis eye cream on top because I do need a little more today. So this is, uh, let's see, it's the Synchronizing Eye Cream Transforms Appearance of Tired, Overworked Eyes. It says Peptides and Star Arvnesis. Arv oil to help deliver younger looking eyes around the clock. Dark shadows and puffiness appear reduced. Okay, Elemis. Well, I mean, Elemis is a good brand. It's it's just a little tube like that. These are full-size items. I think this one is a mini, though. I want to say that one's a mini. I need all the help I can get with eyes today. So, as you can see, this box is <laughs> majority um, skincare because I do like exploring different skincare because, you know, um, Estee Lauder can get expensive for me, so I don't want to overspend on stuff, but I do like my Estee Lauder. But it's good to try something a little bit different because I do need a little bit lighter skincare once the warm months start up. I still look very orange, I'm sorry. So, um, this is another thing that I got in the box that I think I picked. I think I picked it. So you can go, I have the Dipsy app, and then I just go and I think it's the first of the month, that's when you can start picking your items. But, um, you'll have two already set for you based on your quiz that you take and then you'll pick three to go in the box and then you can add on so all your stuff can ship together. So this one I did 
um, ad because I wanted to try. I've been in the market for some face scrubs, and this one is a fruit superfood sugar face scrub, and this is only 2.82 ounces, so it's not too big, and it, which is good because face scrubs I don't want a lot of. But it's like a, I'm not going to put it on. It's like a nice bright pink. Oh, it smells very fruity. So, ooh, it has a little bit of abrasive pieces to it, but not bad. So I'm just trying it on the back of my hand so I can see. I mean, it has chunks of sugar. Oh my gosh, my hand's so soft, which is good. I really like that. Oh, okay, that is nice. I don't know if you can see the difference on my hands, but this has been scrubbed. This one hasn't, but you can feel the, the noticeably feel the softness. I might try this tonight and update you guys um, in the description. But I like that. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next thing. This is Glow Recipe, um, and it was an add-on for me. This is the Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. Never tried this. I have a lot of pores. Um, this is a treatment slash primer. So I was like, oh. That's intriguing. I want to mess up my nails. And I'm using an X-Acto knife, which is not very smart. I'm going to slice my finger. This is so hard to open. I don't care. There we go. Got it. And I damaged a nail. I knew I was going to do that. Ugh. My nails are just trash right now. I might have to redo them tomorrow. So, let's see. Blurs, pores, and sink controls excess oil. Visibly reduce pore size. I don't think you can reduce pore size. Because once pores are there, they're there. Um, packed with mattifying blend. Oh, it's mattifying. So I'm going to use it only in the center of my face. But not around here. Just like here, here, my nose. Where I get the oiliest. I'm just going to go ahead and just squeeze a little. And it's small. It's only a one fluid ounce. I'm just going to put it where I get oily. I apologize if this video seems all over the place. I am just trying to get ready and then just... Um, I'm still rusty <laughs> at um, filming. I don't feel like it's super drying. And it's a treatment, so I don't think you're going to see immediate results. If you do see immediate results, that's not always a good sign. Alright, so I do need a primer for the rest of my skin. I'm going to use my Estee Lauder um, Futurist Aqua Brilliance for the outer perimeters of my face because I get dry in some, most areas of my skin now. So, I mean, I don't visibly see pores gone, but I want to see how it does with... I mean, it's very soft and smoothing, but... It's too early to tell. Skincare, you cannot, I can't do a first impressions on it because it takes time to kind of look it over. All right, so I'm going to jump into the next items, um, but I do need to hop off and do my brows, or do my primer on my Wander Beauty. I got a palette, and I think I did pick this. I think I did. I can't remember what I picked exactly, but... Um, I'm in the market for some eyeshadows, why not? But this is Wander Beauty. This is just the Trailblazer eyeshadow palette. So I liked it from the get-go because it's very wearable for my job. And I thought it was really pretty. I liked how spring it was. So I've been looking for like a mauve or brown, purpley moss, green type of color scheme in a palette. I bought the, these, this palette from, well, I found it at TJ Maxx, and it was uh, from Laura Geller. It was just too light for me. This one has a lot more 
of those darker tones but similar story not not mauves really but kind of warm browns and then you know the colors are very shiny so I'm actually very excited to use that so let's go ahead and grab a brush if I can find my brushes I am so bad at just having my brushes and then I'm kind of shaky because my blood sugar is a little low so all right so I'm gonna go into I kind of like starting from the darks but I am gonna start with Jen which is like a brow bone shade which really appealed to me you know how I am with brow bone shades I really love a good brow bone shade and I'm just gonna put this all over And then I'm going to go into Mandy, which is this shade right here. And we're just going to, oh my goodness, I'm a mess today. It's Saturday, what can I say? I'm never my like I, I tried to spend the morning just doing some art and stuff which I do have most of my piece started and not done but like you know we're in a good spot I might show you that later all right so we're gonna go into Elizabeth forgive me for my sloppy application of eyeshadows this is very dusty so that's why I decided not to put my base base on I can't talk base because I feel like this is way too um, dusty it kind of kicks up a little bit dipping back into Mandy just to kind of blend that out these blend really nice and I usually go pretty messy on the outer corner just because I will clean it up as I do my makeup so this actually blends really well I feel like you don't have to work as hard. And yeah, I'm kind of haphazardly putting it on, so. Works for me. And then I'm just gonna kind of work, dip a little bit more into Elizabeth, work that towards the beginning of the eye, just kind of making a gradient effect. And I apologize, this is just I'm, I don't know why I'm in a rush right now. I guess because I'm running a little late. And then back into Jen, which is that brow bone shade. It has like a little bit of a sheen to it. So it's not really your true brow bone shade, but it does kind of diffuse a little bit there. I really want to try a shimmer, and I think I'm going to go with Mackenzie, which is a nice icy pink okay that brush isn't working I think I'll have to use my finger yeah use the finger and I'll swatch it for you wow this is really like foily holy crap that's really foily alright back into Elizabeth to just kind of marry the two together so you don't have a stark line oh that's really shiny all right so I'm gonna swatch real quick there's Jen has a little bit of a sheen to it you can barely see it on my skin because it kind of really blends in but it has like little flecks of silver in it then Maddie Mandy Divya, I apologize, my swatches are not the best, but there's, um, it's a metallic brown Maddie. Mandy is the one I use in the crease, and then this one is called Divya. It's more of like a, like a champagne gold. Noreen, which is, oh, it's actually very dry to the touch, but it is the only green in there, so it's like an olive green. And then we've got Lindsay P. I don't know why it says Lindsay P. Which that's way darker than I envisioned. Um, there it is. I thought it was going to be a nice bright color, but maybe not. Elizabeth, which is that brown I used. Matte brown. Mackenzie, which is what I used on my lid. A nice, gorgeous, like, rosy, icy pink. 
Um, Alex, Alex, but it's spelled A L Y X, which is a nice shimmery, creamy color. And then Lindsay E, <laughs> weird, um, which is kind of like a metallic yellow olive green. So the palette's very pretty, very pretty. Um, I'll wipe that off soon. My nails are just a wreck. All right, so I'm gonna jump off. All right, so got the base down. I just use, honestly, this was one of my favorite foundations. It's changed in consistency. It used to be more liquidy. Now it's like thicker. So it's kind of harder to work, but this is the uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte version. I think the other one wasn't a matte version. It was just regular. That's probably why this is a little different, but we'll see. All right, so we're gonna finish the eyes. I do wanna crack into, I got a Laura Mercier caviar stick, which I've been dying to try. I'm in the market for some really good uh, cream shadows, stick uh, cream shadows. I like cream shadows. My eyes are getting older, and this color is called Rose Thorn, which actually I've been eyeing this one. It is a nice plummy color, which I really, really enjoy a plummy color. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the lower lash line, since I already have stuff on the top. Oh, I love that color. It's really nice. Probably one of my favorite Besides the Bobbi Brown, the Bobbi Brown's really nice. So I am not going to dive into the green and the gold because I just can't. <laughs> I don't want to, I kind of like this plummy. I mean, I almost want to put some. You know what? Let's go ahead. We're going to use Lindsay E. I'm going to put this in the inner portion of my lower lash line. It's going to tie into my shirt. My shirt, by the way, is my 70,000 tons tank. Um, let's see. I like that. There's a little bit of something there. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to use Alex, which is that lightest shade. I'm just going to pop it in there. I like that. Very pretty. Very... I like this color combination. I like this palette a lot, and I really love this Laura Mercier. Alright, so I did get a liquid eyeliner. I didn't do my brows. I did do a liquid liner in here. It just, it was already picked for me. Or no, I picked it. I picked it. Because I do, I do need a new liquid liner. This is the... Defiance Beauty by... I have no idea what to... <laughs> Ooh, that's actually a really nice component. It's very interesting. Oh, it's very, very small. Uh, very precise and small. So we're going to see. Well, especially with my shaky hands right now. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, I really like that. That actually came out really good. Mm. Alright, so I'm going to hop off, do my other eye. And I think that's pretty much my box, except for a baby. I added a baby um, Ciate setting powder for my purse. So, it's very tiny. Alright, so face is done. I really, really, really like everything in my box. I really do. Um, so let's start with my favorite item, which is going to be the Laura Mercier because it does not come off. Look at that. It's still on there. That is really cool. And honestly, like, I have zero time in the morning to get ready. This would be nice to just kind of pop on and smudge it out and go. 
and have some color there. It's deep enough to where it's going to add some color and then it's got the, it's purple, which helps enhance my brown eyes, which I really like, but it, it stays pretty well. So I, I love that. This is definitely going to be an item I'll reach for quite a bit. And then the next item I like is the palette. Honestly, I'm in the market for some good palettes and this is really, really like, I like this. I really like that gold. It really spruced up the look a lot. And it's very neutral, so it works for work, which I really like because I work in an office and this is just really nice. I didn't get to use the green, but it is a drier formula, so I will try and see if I can use that later on down the road. But really like this palette. It's very good staple to have. The liquid liner did a very good job, honestly. It's very precise, very small, which I like. And... It hopefully it'll stay. It feels lightweight, kind of cheapy packaging, but I like the packaging. It's really like really cute. Um, but I really like liquid liners, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm starting to get back onto the liquid liner uh, train because I feel like it's very necessary for me. Um, okay, so sorry, I'm just throwing all my packages away. Um, I really, really liked. Okay, I can't really say with the skincare because we can't make. A quick judgment there. I did like how milky this was, so I will definitely reach for this in my skincare regimen. I usually wash with my Ole Hendrickson vitamin C wash and use the Estee Lauder one, but I think I'll switch it to this one just to get some more hydration because my skin gets very irritated in the um, windy season, as we call it, uh, spring in New Mexico, um, and my skin can get very irritating and break out so the oats will help calm it down and then this will keep me hydrated. So I'm excited to use that. I can't say that I like it or don't like it because it's skincare. Skincare you can't right off the bat say, oh my god, this is amazing. Um, it feels good, but will it, over time, will it work is my question. And that's what I'm going to test out. Um, I can't say much about the glow drops or the glow blur drops, whatever they're called, uh, from Glow Recipe. Um... I don't know, we'll see at the end of the day if my skin's still mattified. My nose gets really, really oily. Here gets really oily and here gets really oily. I don't say it got rid of my pores because I feel like this is going to be an overtime type thing. It's not going to be instant. Again, skincare is not instant. Um, the Glow Recipe, I have used this in the past and I did like it because it really did illuminate and keep my eyes hydrated. My issues with my eyes right now is that I wrinkle more. I have more fine lines so uh, my foundation tends to just crease really bad so we'll see how the combination of this and the LMS does. Um, the LMS seem really nice. I cannot use retinol around my eyes so I actually use or I look for um, eye creams with no retinol or retinoids in it but just peptides and collagen to help with that under eye area. Hopefully those wrinkles can cut. Kind of, well, they're not going to go away, but you know, they're going to be there, but I don't want my concealer to crease in it. So again, this is experimental skincare. You can't really say off the bat if it's going to be great or not. Um, I didn't get to use the skin scrub because I already washed my face and I don't want to irritate my face right now. My face is going through a healing process and right now I feel like I'll use this tonight to kind of really get all the excess dead skin off because um, I do have some dry areas around my chin and I don't want to irritate it more with a scrub but I'm very excited to use it. It smells really good and I like a good face scrub. <laughs> I didn't get to use my little Ciate one but this is a nice, it's just a translucent little baby powder. I wanted to have something in my purse to kind of touch up but I don't know, let's try it. It doesn't leave a white cast, which is nice. But if I get oily, this will be nice to use. All right, so that's it. Um, I did a full face, not entirely of the box because, of course, I didn't get a full, um, like a full face in the box. But I don't like the boxes it comes in. I like the old boxes from Boxy Charm. But that's it. I'm done. I need to get going soon. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed coming back and doing these videos. I hope you guys enjoy. My content might be all over the place. That's just how it's going to be. I'm not going to have a for sure 
way of doing my videos. I'm just going to whatever feels right, you know? I can't be too picky on my um, videos and just be so in my head about it. I'm just going to do it when I feel like it. So if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Whatever. I really just want to do this for fun. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed my, this is what, March Ipsy Boxy Charm unboxing and try on. And I hope you guys can subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.